Hello and welcome to the How to Build series where I'm going to be going over various topics involving Wiremon and Expression 2 and I will be referring to my Expression 2 series quite often to give you an idea of what tutorials you need to look at to understand what's going on. So let's start by making a basic elevator right here except we're going to make it a very nice basic elevator and we're going to get our floor plate right here and set it to about a height which we want um, for the final destination of this elevator to be and that's a good height so now we're going to go in the wire menu and under input output there's the button section we're going to have a green button representing when I want to go up and a red button when representing when I want to go down in the tool section there's a slider and we're going to go underneath this plate and to the center point right here and right click in the center and that's going to set a slider from here directly to the ground in a straight line so you don't have to worry about making it straight yourself and that slider is going to inhibit the elevator from going left or right. You want it to go up and down only, which is good. So we'll put it back to where we want and grab hydraulic. And just like you did the other one, so just so you can see what it looks like, um, you right click and left click. So we're going to do that again except better and in position. So we go to the center and we're going to right click to make that second constraint, which is going to act as the hydraulic itself and then we're going to left click and this is going to be the hydraulic controller. Now notice the hydraulic length of 512, I'll just call it 513 from now on, that's 513 GMOD uh, units up in the sky. Then you have constant of 2000 and a damping of 400, I'm going to get into that a little later. So let's start by making expression 2 chip and we're going to define two buttons, one's going to be up, the other one's going to be down and then we're going to have outputs constant damping, and length. And we're going to have a maximum length, which is going to be represented by variable max. So when people tell you how to make these things, they'll generally say, uh, make if statements, which is covered in tutorial 3 in the Expression 2 series. Uh, if statement of when you press the up button, you can um, say set length to 515, or 513, that was our number from before. Else if, if you press the down button, length is set equal to zero. Now, theoretically this works, but it's actually really horrible. So let's wire this up and see what happens, and I'll tell you why not to do this. And I'll show you why not to do this. So we'll set length to length, constraint to constraint, damping to damping, and we're going to need up. Actually, if I just do that, yep. Yeah up to up, so up to up, and down to down. So this is why you never want to make an elevator like they tell you in most tutorials. You get sent flying, take damage, you press the down button, it's too fast, and you die. Alright, so we don't want that. But what we do want, and what we will get, is a smooth uh, operating elevator, and how you do that is first look at the damping. Now, the damping is going to help you control uh, how smooth like uh, the elevator is when it's going in the upward direction and downward direction. If you have a damping which is too high, it's going to make the elevator spaz out. Uh, if it's too low, it's not really going to push you upward. So we're going to want a damping, which it was around 400, but we're going to set it in this case to 1500. And we're going to set our max value to 513, so don't have to put 513 everywhere else. All right, so let's see how that changes things. Much better, much smoother. We're not quite reaching the height, but I'll get into that later. And we have one more issue to tackle. It shoots down still. And that can actually be stopped by changing the constant. Now the constant is going to control how fast the elevator is going to go up and down. So um, when you're going up, you can set a high constant around 2000 and be just fine. Um, in fact, that's usually the default constant. Um, but when you're going down, you should set a constant that's relatively low, around 300. And I'll show you why, what that's going to do. It's going to slow down the elevator when I press this down button. And now I'm not taking any damage and I'm safely reaching the ground, which is exactly what's wanted. Now, there's another method you can use to actually make the elevator a little bit more stable when coming down, and that's incorporating a while loop, and while loops are covered in uh, Expression 2, Tutorial 8. So we're going to have while length 
of the hydraulic is less than the max, then we'll say that length is equal to length plus one, or you can re uh, represent that with length plus plus. And in the down case, instead of just saying it's zero, and immediately shooting zero, we'll say when length is greater than zero, length minus minus. And that's the same as saying length equals length plus one, or length equals length minus one. So let's upload that, and it'll be a little bit more smooth. There we go. But we're not quite reaching the max height, as you can see here, and I'm going to take care of that as soon as I get down. Okay. All right. Now, to make it go higher, you can either A, put like just a max length here, and actually that will solve the issue, but you're going to notice a little thing right here. Yep. And when you do that, it sets the elevator too high so you can actually walk back on the elevator when you get up. And we can B, go down, and we're going to use a trick which is covered in Tutorial 13, Expression 2 series, where I introduce the timer. So we'll say whenever length does reach a maximum, or does reach our maximum value and gets over it by one value, then we will set a one-time timer to count to 3,000 milliseconds, or 3 seconds, and when it counts to 3, it's going to trigger this else if statement, which is checking for a click or a run of the expression 2 chip caused by the timer adjust, of the same name right here. And when this counts to 3, I want the length to be set to the maximum value plus the value of 10, and I want that constant to be set to 5,000, which is going to be over twice as much as the up constant, and that's going to help hold the uh, elevator in place. So let's make everything, make sure everything's correct. Looks good. So let's go up with this, and now it's raising me to the appropriate level. I step off. It's still at the appropriate level. I step back on and I press the button. It's sending me down safe. And we have a fully functioning elevator. Now if you're going to add props onto this elevator for to make the buttons look fancy or things like that, consider that you're also going to have to increase the maximum um, height or length of the hydraulics because even these buttons are weighing down the elevator a little bit. So you got to consider everything's weight. But I'll be getting into how to make this a multi-floor elevator in another video. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.